Hello, I'm Eskimo, and I'm here to talk about CorelDRAW. In this video, I'm demonstrating a VBA macro I wrote that allows one to select an existing numeric label, and then create duplicates of that label at locations defined by mouse clicks. With each duplicate, the value of the number is automatically increased by one. Now, before I demonstrate this, I'll point out that if you look at the Macro Manager, or this would be the uh, Scripts Docker in newer versions of CorelDRAW. If you've installed the GMS file for this macro in the appropriate location, then you will see under Visual Basic for Applications this project, JQ Sequential Numbers at Mouse Clicks, and in this module JQ, you may have to expand it to see all this, one, two, three, four different macro subs. Now I could run these subs from here, but for the convenience, I have put those as commands on a toolbar, and I did that using CorelDRAW's own regular uh, workspace customization. That's not custom programming, that's just using uh, uh, built-in capabilities. Uh, if you want to do that and you don't know how, uh, look at my blog on the CorelDRAW community forum, and I have a post about that. So if I select this, and look down here on the status bar. I can see that's an artistic text shape. It's uh, the number seven. Uh, if I click on this to launch one of those subs, you'll see that the cursor is changed to a small crosshair cursor from the normal arrow. And that means that it's ready to uh, make duplicates and place them at the locations where I'm clicking. So as you see, it increments that number by one each time, and in order to end this and uh, end the operation of the macro, I click on the escape key and we're back to a normal cursor. Now here's another example where I have, again, that artistic text, but I also have a, an ellipse, and if I select both of those, And uh, this time I'm going to use this second one that says two digit uh, leading zero. Again, I get a crosshair cursor, uh, sorry, a small crosshair cursor. And then again, I'm getting incremented by one every time I place this. And in this case, because I use the one for two digits with a leading zero, it's put in leading zeros here where necessary to get it to be two digits. And again, escape gets me out of here. Uh, last example here, you might recall that in the one I just did, I selected two shapes, uh, the artistic text shape and an ellipse. Uh, in this case, this is a group of eight objects. So I have the artistic text shape, uh, an ellipse with rounded corners around it, and some transparent little uh, cyan-filled ellipses uh, on top of it. And again, I'm going to use, this time I'm going to use the, uh, the three-digit leading zeros, but this time it's a group that happens to contain uh, the artistic text shape. And again, we get a small crosshair cursor, and again, each time we get this incremented by one. And again, escape, and that terminates it. So, the ground rules for how this works for the selection. Selection must contain one and only one artistic text shape. And that text shape must represent an integer number. Selection may contain multiple shapes. The artistic text shape may be part of a group, and the entire selection may be a group. So if you wanted to make a label where there was some other text in there that was not the text that you wanted to be a number that was being incremented, uh, this would not allow that to have another text shape in there. Uh, so the suggestion would be uh, take the other stuff that is boilerplate and is the same on every label and uh, convert it to curves. So then it's a curve, not a piece of text, so you must have one and only one artistic text shape. 
And finally, a review of the workflow for those who like to see it in writing. You select the objects to be duplicated, start one of the macro subs, the cursor changes to a small crosshair, and then you mouse click uh, where each duplicate is desired to be. And as they are created, the integer number is incremented. When you're done, press the escape key to stop the macro. Thanks for watching. That is all.